Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to change the camera so that the camera in the game world is affected by the position of the phone. So I don't have my phone handy, but let's see. What I want to be able to do is when you have your phone and you hold it up like this, you see a virtual world in front of you, and then as you turn the phone around, you, it, it, it moves around just like it does in the physical world, but it shows you content in a virtual world that's overlaid on the physical world. We saw an example of this in class. It wasn't the augmented reality marker, but it was the one where we looked at the boxes. That as you lifted it up, you could see the box above you, and as you held it down, you could see the box below you. Well, what we want to be able to do is see the game world content uh, around us so that we have to walk around the world in order to interact with the game world content. So in order to do that, what we need to do is we need to do uh, two things. We need to uh, make sure that our camera location changes as our physical location changes. And we need to make sure that our location, uh, that our camera orientation changes as the phone, ch as the phone orientation changes. So we're going to tackle the um, second one uh, first, making the phone's view of the world change as you move the phone around. All right? So the first thing that we need to do in order to even tell that this is working is create some static elements of the game world that won't change with respect to the game state. So let's look at that real quick in the Unity player. I mentioned this briefly in the introduction, but what I have here is I just have a section here of things that I have placed in the world so that I have some access to uh, to, uh, uh, so I have some view on a stable view of the world as I'm moving the phone around. I want to be able to see something that's not being generated by me so I can help debug. So what I've done is I've created a few things here. I've added something called a terrain. A terrain is a, just an enormous plane with a repeating texture on it. That's a, um, a game object that you can add down here, terrain. Um, again, you don't you don't have to make your game world look like this by any means, but this is a um, this is what I did, and you can copy it or, or not as you see fit. What you are going to have to do is add some elements from the game state into this world uh, when we get feedback from the server. That's later. Though. All right. So in addition to that, I added three palm trees in the world, and where I placed them is I placed them in specific spots so that I could um, debug where I was 